We all have moments that define us, choices we make that will change our lives and the destinies of those that follow. Sometimes the moments are easy to spot, the college you choose, the career choice you make, the person you marry. Looking at my dad, there's more than a few moments to pick from. The day he became an attorney, a judge, a commissioner, mayor of Miami Beach. Yet for me, I believe my father's defining moment came in 1961 in his last year of law school. It was the day my father stood up for something that would shape his destiny and those after him. It was the day my father stood up for the Shabbos. To begin with, we were in a law school where 173 students started, 27 graduated, and the reason was that the dean was basically crazy, and he wanted to make Miami the Harvard of the South, and he was curving everybody's grades, and everybody was failing. Two exams that I have with this professor were both on Saturday. I went to him and told him, I can't take the exam, it's Saturday, I'm a Sabbath observer. He started yelling and screaming at me. He said, you're taking those exams no matter what. You be in my home, 8.30 Sunday morning, you're taking both exams and they're gonna be different ones than everybody else. At 8.25 he came out, he said, come on in. He takes me into his den and he sits me down. He says, here is your first exam. You got two hours, write it up. And I'm looking in his den, on the mantle is a picture of a rabbi. And I know that my professor is Catholic. He says to me, I see you're looking at my grandfather's picture. I said, yes. He says, you know what he was? I said, he looks like a very religious, holy person. That's exactly what he was. But you know, I'm Catholic. I said, yes, sir, I do know. He says, okay, take your exam. I write my exam, I come out. He looks at me, he smiles, he takes a pen and puts down on both my exam papers, A. He didn't say anything, I didn't say anything, but I got two A's and I graduated law school because this man helped me because my exams came out on Sabbath.